All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are picking up here at the start of another new episode, and we are uh, basically first thing in the morning. I uh, think I ended the last episode and then basically just passed the rest of the day. Uh, the big development from that one, obviously, is we came away with the uh, moose cloak, so we are pretty well geared up at this point. And uh, the other thing that I kind of need to get a handle on, though, is that we are, like, just knocking on the door of cabin fever. So I think yeah, we're at 81%. Um, honestly, I went to sleep, and I, I fully expected to have cabin fever when I woke up, and I don't quite yet. But um, I think we'll get out and about just the same and, uh, you know, try and try and get that back down to zero. I don't really need to carry all this coffee. Let's go ahead and drop some of that here. We might keep a couple. Same with the herbal tea. Keep a couple of that on us, and then I don't know, eventually I'll come through and maybe organize this a little bit, but I don't want to put it on the top shelf because that's where I like to put my water. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking there's a cave down in the lower part um, that I've used in the past to get rid of cabin fever, um, or at least the risk of. And I think that's where I'm gonna head. Um, I went there in season one, if you guys have been following the channel that long and remember uh, back that far, but it's gonna be the same cave. Um, and uh, obviously we're gonna have to spend at least one night there. And there are some wolves and things that we'll have to get by to, uh, to get to that cave. We might end up having to shoot them, we'll see. Um, we're gonna need the bedroll. Yeah, so it's not going to be easy, and I can still shoot fine. I know I tested this once already, but just in case. Okay, yeah, we're good. With the broken ribs, which we are at 43 hours, so we're actually almost two-thirds of the way through that. So that's actually, we're making pretty good, pretty good progress on healing up our ribs. Um, anything else I really need to take? Uh, what do I have for food? Nothing. I have no food on me. That's also kind of a problem because I can't really take meat. I guess I could eat a bunch right now. I can't really take food down there, right? Because I'll get, I'll just get attacked. If I go down there with a piece of moose meat, I'll get just swarmed by the wolves. So um, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I will stop by the lake down there and actually it would let me get to that. I could break this down, but... I just don't really want to. Um, uh, can I get it through the crack? No, not really. It's like I can take that. I know I have the peaches. That is 450 calories. So if we spend at least just one night, we'll need that. And then maybe if we can grab a cattail or two down from the lake, that should set us up for a night in the cave. Um, so let's do that. I'm trying to think before I step out into the cold, anything else we need to do? Um, anything need repairs? 84, 78, that could use some love. Actually, let me check something. So these give you 7% protection versus 10, yeah. I mean, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think the deerskin pants are the better option. They're heavier, for sure. Like, that's that's a given. It's like a pound and a half versus almost four and a half pounds. But they're more waterproof. They block more wind, and you get a 10% versus 7% protection. And that's at 78%. So, um, basically what I was getting at... So do I repair one that I have? Uh, I guess I only have a couple of pelts. Like, do I use these pelts to repair that that set of pants, or do I go ahead and make another? Which I th I do think I'm leaning towards making another. Um, but I don't have enough right now, so I might as well use the one I do have to repair these because they're down in the 70s. Um, anything else? What about the wolf? No, it's a 93, 73. How's my rabbit hat? Yeah, okay. Everything else is really in pretty good shape. So we'll just take the one deer pelt and make that repair. Uh, we should have some... Ooh, we don't. Let's grab a couple of these, just in case. 
And then that should be good to go. Do we have sewing kit on us? We do. Okay, yeah, I think I'm ready to roll out of here. We'll head down to that cave, hopefully. I do need to stop and get maybe a couple cattails. So we have just enough food to get through the night. Um, but yeah, let's let's get on the road. Still have a bunch of raw moose. For some reason, I feel like we got shorted a little bit on the moose meat. I just, I don't feel like there's that much, but it's probably just my imagination. Oh, the bear is right there. Man, he is close. He is, like, close enough that it's tempting to try and <laughs> do something with it. Let's see. Can we lead you back? Um, guys. Um, I'm going to get a little greedy here. Okay. Oh, but I can't really stick around because of the cabin fever. Hmm. Maybe... I need to keep moving. <laughs> can't just stay in here. I need to keep going. Um, maybe if I get him and then get a fire going outside, I can I can pass enough time outdoors to uh, get enough to pass, like, stay the night in my cabin. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at, like, 82%. If I could drop that down to, like, 70 today, then... You know, maybe I can make do with this. My goal right now is just to get him close enough to the front door that I can take some shots on him. Never a dull moment here, guys. Hey, buddy. Okay, we did not lock ourselves into a corner. Are you still coming? So while we wait for him to close some ground, I'll uh, just take the opportunity to uh, thank you all for checking out the episode today. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to uh, hit the like button for me. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, would uh, love if you'd go ahead and do that for me as well. I've been trumping it for quite a while now. I'm shooting for 500 by the end of the year. About 30 short at this point with about a month and three quarters to go. So if you want to help me out, Help me reach that goal at 500. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, guys, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, just want to say hello, be sure to uh, put that into the comment section as well. All right, when do we start shooting this guy right now? He's going to start shooting us. Okay, where's my door? awkward okay well that was much easier than anticipated I don't know what the deal was with that um okay well easy I I honestly I I kind of want to say that I think this is the easiest place to kill a bear in the game I don't know what you guys think about that but like you can just lead him right up to that door like I did and just drop him right here I've done that so many times now that it's just like when I, that's why when I came out and I saw him on the ice, that close to the cabin, I was like, I can't pass this up. I mean, usually he hangs out kind of over where that deer is. And this time he was like right on the other side of this rock formation. So it's just like, yeah, that's that's too good of an opportunity to to pass up. Um, so what do we do now? <laughs> we got him. Um... Go ahead and grab this piece of fur and let's warm up and we're gonna have to get a fire going out there that's really we're at 81 percent so we lost one percentage point i mean that's a start uh, but i don't have any sticks or anything do i i think i put them all in that fire yesterday or last episode so let's maybe gather some sticks really quick and see if we can get some decent time on a fire. There's a branch. 
Problem is, is I also think I've already cleared out all the sticks in this area. Uh, and at least, I guess, if nothing else, that's we don't have to worry about him for a while. Yeah, this is like the spot where the sticks despawn quite a bit. Like, I'll turn around and they'll be gone. Tell you what, let's do this number. Can I get it close enough to the bear and that branch <laughs> that I can then harvest that branch? Um, let's, let's just go for it. We'll see what happens. Should only take me like a couple hours to harvest him, so as long as we get that done. <laughs> I like, I'm just like, I'm laughing because like I know some of the comments were like, or like the episode we got trampled by the noose. You know, like I, I had said that, you know, fishing really doesn't make sense to me. Um, ah, this weather, I hope this weather holds. Um, but it was like, all right, well now we're pretty banged up. Fishing might make sense because, you know, we're, we're wounded for so many days. Um, and like with broken ribs, I've now killed the moose and a bear. Um, all right, I was gonna see if I could harvest this. Yeah, we're close enough to this to do. So let's do this. It's cedar, but we'll take it. 58 minutes, it's worth it. Okay. Let's throw one piece on. Drink some water. And then do we harvest them? Or do we just, let's see what the time difference is. That's really the, so if I wanted to chop you completely up, three, probably four, five hours, four hours and four minutes. That's just for the meat. Let's see how much time we got on our fire back here. Three and a half hours. That'll probably burn longer than that, but... And the weather, right? The wind picks up and puts our fire out, but... Let's just go for it. I don't want to mess with quartering. If I can get this done... Right out of the gate, then... Let's just go for it. Let's see what we can do here. Plus, it gives us four more hours of time being outside. Okay... Yeah, perfect. Now we need to immediately drop because all those wolves are going to come running. Let's see, I'm coming across the water. <laughs> drop it. All right. Awesome. Yeah, so that's... Wow, we still have like two hours on this. Um, What do we want to do? Let's go grab the pots and maybe we can cook some of this up right now. We'd probably... Well, I don't think it really matters. I was going to say we'd probably be better served to cook some moose. But I don't think that's necessarily true. I guess I could get the pelt. I could do that. Um, let's at least get the pots on. Okay. Or do I just make some water? Ah, uh, gosh, this is tough. I'm not sure. Let's get a couple going at least. Give us some food for a few days. Oh, I still have a ton of birch bark tea. On me. We'll go dump that real quick. Then we'll come back and probably get the pelt off of this guy. What's the saying? When it rains, it pours. We've got so much meat that we legitimately probably don't have to leave here for weeks if we didn't want to. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to drop the all of the excess birch bark tea. Oh, I didn't mean to drink it. Oh, well, that's fine. Keep one on us. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, let's go back out here. See where we're at on this. Two and a half hours. Put that 
down. And then let's do a round of water. I think we have a gallon and a half, and that's only good for a few more days, so this will just help. Man, we've been outside all day today. How's our cabin view risk? Yeah, we lost quite a bit of it, so. Man, that was a complete 180 from what I started the episode thinking we would do. Um, I thought we'd be hunkered down, maybe trying to fight off some wolves in that cave down there. And, uh, nope, killed a bear. Killed a bear, standing by a fire. <laughs> in the snowstorm. Um, I might as well eat one of these, yeah? Celebratory meal. Got two hours. Let's do another round of meat. Should have plenty of time. Oh shoot, I need to get his pelt. I never did that. Glad I remembered. How long do these take? 43 minutes, they'll be done, but it's okay. Oh, 42 minutes, perfect. Can I do that by hand? 28 minutes. That's crazy, it's faster with hand, with bare hands. And then do I want to mess with the guts? 12 minutes, Aaron, five. How long did I get all the guts? another four and a half hours. I, I don't, honestly, I don't really need the guts right now. I feel like we got plenty of guts from the moose still, so I'll just leave them. How are we doing cabin fever wise now? 25%? Yeah, that's dropping pretty quick. If we can, I might do one more round of bear meat. Okay. Forty six yeah, we should have plenty of time. It's tempting to try for another round. I think I will. He's still way over the other side. All right, fresh cooked bear meat. All right, yep. Let's uh, let's go up and go to bed. Let's eat an, one of these. Drink some water. Hit the sack. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe tomorrow we'll go down to the cave. We ought to be getting pretty... How's our... We're still at 40... 38 hours. Alright, grab our 10. Yeah, going back to what I was saying about that being the easiest spot to kill a bear, I can't think of anything easier, like a better spot. Can you guys... I really can't because I mean if I could do what I did and honestly like generally when I do hunt this bear and use that strategy he he tends to get stuck somewhere like he did right there like I think I've killed him like right here before I think I've killed him over there before um, and I mean if he gets a little too close you just back up and you're inside I think some people would probably tell you he can come through that door, but I've never personally had it happen. And I mean, if you're that worried about it, you just step back and hit the door. <laughs> okay, that was really terrible. Step back and hit the door. There we go. 
Yeah, if he was coming through that door, I'd be dead on that first one. Awesome. Well, we don't need food for the foreseeable future. What's our archery level looking like these days? We are at... Uh, not quite to four and a half. And fire starting, we're almost to four. All right, what's cabin fever risk at now? It's going to go back up, though, because we stayed inside last night. I think we still go down the hill, and I think we spend some time down there and just completely eradicate it. So let's fill our bellies, and let's pretty much just start the plan from yesterday today. So let's go down, get some cattails. Man, it'd be really nice if I could get a piece of meat. Maybe let's just take one, see what happens. We'll grab the grab the uh, cattails as like an insurance policy, just in case we have to ditch the meat. Where did do you guys go in Timberwolf Mountain to deal with cabin fever? Like, I'm curious what other what other people do. This cave that I'm headed for is, like, pretty much my every time strategy. Although, what we could do right now, actually, is use the bear's cave. Because the bear's dead. We don't have to worry about the bear. We can use this home. I think we might do that. Because then we could probably avoid the wolves a lot easier. So I think we needed at least two cattails. you guys see how many saplings we had up there? Like, we really <laughs> don't have to leave this area for quite some time. We just have so much meat. Even when we start to get low on meat, we've got so many materials to make bows and arrows. And I really think the only thing that could force me to move right now would be scrap metal. And I say that because, you know, like we could just continuously make repairs to our animal garments. But we would eventually need scrap metal to make ho uh, hooks, to make fishing tackle to sew with. But we've, that said, we've got a ton of sewing kits currently. So it's not even a concern. We slept for 10 hours, so we should be at about 20, somewhere between 30 and 25 hours left on broken ribs. You know, honestly, maybe this is the play. Maybe I should have been doing this for a long time. Just killing the bear and then come, coming to use his cave. I think it was maybe season two where... I slept in this cave and I came out and the bear was just like laying on the ground and uh, I thought he was dead because I think I had shot him. I had stuck him with an arrow or something like that and so I like approached him and he was, I think I might have even started a fire next to him <laughs> and uh, he was most definitely not dead. He was just sleeping. Okay, well... Let's see, let's see. Let's make some of those repairs I was talking about at the outset before we got entangled with the bear. Repair. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and do that as well. And then let's go for the deer skin pants. Oh, I need a gut. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Let's repair those. Wish we could find another pair of these, but no big deal. Here's a question. Um, 
So I know I've like at least heard of and seen people like at some point just not repairing like your sweaters and your thermal underwear or socks anymore. Um, because like you get enough fur garments on that like it's not worth like you you don't care about the you know five degrees or so you're gonna lose by not having the the other garments on because like this is that's almost two degrees these are uh, about two degrees Fahrenheit if they were both at a hundred percent so that's like six right there that's seven degrees and that would be wow that's actually really warm it was almost four so like if we got rid of those other items though that would be seven degrees our feels like right now is 54 degrees fahrenheit that would be 40 um gosh 48 am i doing the math there no 47 which is still warm enough here. And really, I mean, you're going to be cold outside either way. That's why I don't take cold fusion um, as one of my perks. Because, like, if I go out here right now, and it's actually a warmer day right now, right? But if I check my feels like, it's negative four, or I'm sorry, it's four degrees. If I were at eight, degrees with the cold fusion bonus like what is the difference between eight and four degrees so i know i've gotten some slack before in the comments for not taking cold fusion but that's why it might be helpful early game for sure but late game um in my opinion like again the difference between being at four degrees right now and eight degrees is virtually nothing right i'm still gonna be cold either way so i would rather have the consume less calories or you know one of the other ones um how are we doing on cabin fever oh we lost it okay so evidently yesterday was enough but um yeah we could probably head back up let's go ahead and harvest that arrow else it's close it's tempting to just harvest those arrows too and then just make more could probably stash this I'm not probably ever gonna actually use it cured deer hide fresh oh we need to get that curing maybe we make a all right let's look at the bear skin coat all right, bear with me here. Oh, shoot. I was going to take a picture of it um, on my phone, but I don't actually have my phone by me at the moment just to compare them because, like, Wolf is all the way at the bottom. Wolf skin coat, 7.2, 7.2 7 versus 10.8 and 9. 80% uh, wet protection. Let's see. 60 versus 60 12 percent damage protection minus 15 percent mobility so it's higher in both of those so it, more protection but less mobility and i think there's like a five pound difference between the two 6.6 .6 versus 11 so what is that four and 4.4 pounds um, so I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Wolf skin versus bear skin coat. I mean, I could also, I know I just made the moose hide cloak, but I could also ditch that too in favor of one of those. It's a tough call. Anyways. I mean, man, I thought we really were going to have to stick it out here for a day, but... We've lost our cabin fever risk, so we might as well head back up the hill. Let's do that. Maybe I'll do another, uh, like, time jump 
between this episode and the next one since we do have so much food. Uh, and I've kind of mentioned that like, we really don't need to to do anything or go anywhere. But at the same time, like I know that those won't that won't make particularly interesting episodes if I'm just hanging out. Um, so I think I might go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll do maybe I'll do 15, 20 days or something like that. We'll check how we'll check what day we're on once we get back to the cabin. Okay, there's a wolf over there. Stick to the hills over here. Let's grab some of these sticks along the way if we can. I genuinely, like... I don't know what could stop us right now. Other than just an accident. We'd survive one mauling, one mauling for sure. If, if we ran into a wolf unexpectedly, we would most definitely live. Um, guess I would need to check to make sure I have. Is he coming for us? I know I have that meat, but feels like he's farther away than that. Eh, he's coming for us. Okay. Well. You probably heard me up here talking about how we were we we're in no danger. So he's like, alright, <laughs> I've had enough. We'll probably lose him on this rabbit or that deer over there, so I'm not too concerned. It's moving pretty quick though. And the thing with the ribs is we can't just turn around and run either. There's the rabbit. Okay, there they are. We'll see. I bet he goes for the rabbits. Yeah. But we might see that out too. Maybe we'll get a third kill. Yeah, this is just too easy not to do it, right? As long as I get the kill shot. All right, folks. Take the rabbit home with us. I'm like, now I'm watching that wolf to see if he comes this way and then we'll lead him into the, yeah, he is coming this way. If I really, really wanted to do it, guys, I could just keep stacking this. Cause remember there's also that wolf that's on the other side of those hills too. So I could lead him, man. We got a good little thing going here. Look at him, how quick he's closing. We might end up shooting this guy just cause. He's kind of like, why would he be going over there? I know I just killed that wolf, but still. I don't know, it's weird. If I had all of my ability to run right now, I would probably run back over there and shoot him when he attacks that other rabbit, but not that big a deal. Okay, let's see what day we're on. We are on day 158, so we are almost to day 160. So that's pretty good. I bet if I really wanted to, I bet I could just hang out here until maybe 180 pretty pretty easily without really being pushed. I mean, the only battle I would have probably would be cabin fever and having to make that little trip back and forth. I'm just going to uh, let's go ahead and harvest him. Let's get his I'm really just after his pelt just in case we need to repair the gloves or something. Okay, let's set him out here somewhere. I'll tell you one thing. I 
came out of the door and like peeked over this rock here. So I did this number and like came out. And then I saw the color of the bear down there and kind of freaked out for half a second. Oh wow, where's he at? Oh, he did come up here, okay. Boom, guys. It's just too easy. You made the fatal mistake of standing still. So, <laughs> that's probably another at least 10 days of food between those two wolves. So yeah, I think I'm just going to hang out here for a while, guys. I say, let's go ahead and call this an episode here. Um, let's check. So we were on day 158. Um, 10 days would be about day 170. I think I'll do at least 170. Um, that will put us the farthest that we've been on the channel for sure. Um, but, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that amount of time and then maybe I'll do another 10 days and get to like 180 or something. We'll see. We'll see how much time I, you know, personally have between now and then to do that. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and call this an episode here. Like I said before, I do appreciate y'all tuning in today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to uh, leave a quick like for me. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, would invite you to go ahead and do that as well. Shooting for 500 by the end of the year. We are getting super close, but just have a little bit more ground to cover. So if you want to help me along on that goal, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything along those lines, throw those into the comment section. And I will get back to you there as well. So that is it for me today, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks.